Fear is instinctual, hard-coded into the human body. It's what kept our ancestors away from predators. And even long after the age of the caveman, fear remains an emotion that helps keep us alive. With such an important responsibility, fear elicits powerful reactions within us for both the mind and the body. This is Your Brain On, where we explore how the world affects our brains and ourselves. At its root, fear is just a chemical reaction in your brain. When your senses perceive a possible threat, like the sound of a snapped twig in the woods, your amygdala activates to assess the context of the situation. This begins what we know as the fight or flight response. If your brain decides the potential threat is indeed something to fear, often outside of your conscious awareness, your amygdala sends a distress signal to your hypothalamus, which in turn alerts your sympathetic nervous system by sending messages to the adrenal glands. Hey, something's wrong. Now on red alert, the adrenal glands respond by pumping the hormone adrenaline into your bloodstream, making your heart pound, your pupils dilate, and your breathing accelerate. This increases oxygen pumping to the brain, helping you feel hyper alert. And you may even experience sensations like sharper vision as your body focuses on the threat. Meanwhile, these reactions trigger your brain to release testosterone, temporarily making your body stronger, again, in an effort to help you fight the perceived risk. If your brain feels you're still in danger, the hypothalamus releases a hormone that travels to the pituitary gland, triggering the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone, or ACTH. That in turn travels to the adrenal glands, prompting them to release the hormone cortisol, so the body remains on high alert. Finally, when the source of fear passes, cortisol levels drop, triggering the parasympathetic nervous system to stop the stress response. Some enjoy this roller coaster of emotion and seek it out, while others avoid scary stuff at all costs. But whether or not you like to feel spooked, know that it's a necessary emotion. It's your brain's way of keeping your body safe from harm. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.